Tonight, the Oregon State Beavers took on the Washington Huskies. Dylan Anderman is in Corvallis with the details. It was raining, it was pouring as the 5th ranked Huskies came to Corvallis to take on the 11th ranked Oregon State Beavers. Here in Corvallis, thousands gathered for what is the last Pac-12 home game for the Beavers and of course the biggest game in recent OSU memory. Walking around the campus hours before the game, the parking lots and the streets were bleeding with OSU orange. I'm feeling pretty good, you know, 16-1 and one for the past three years at home. Fans had all the hope going into this matchup. I'm feeling really good about the game tonight. Uh, you know, we haven't lost a home in two years. If I were a betting man, uh, which I am, I would bet fully on the Oregon State Beavers money line tonight. That's all I have to say. Go Beavs. And it was a bittersweet experience being the last Pac-12 home game. A lot of uh, really ugly football seasons. So I've said before, I don't care if the Beavs, if the Beavs go D, D, D2. I'm still going to root for them. I'm still going to come to games. Uh, I'm proud to be a Beaver. Uh, they're a great program, and they do it the right way. It, it sucks, you know, that we're being left behind. Um, I, I am glad that we were able to win the lawsuit that we posed against the other schools. Um, hopefully that holds up because, you know, it, it sucks. The Beavs started this one off celebrating their seniors. When the game kicked off, the fans were letting themselves be heard. The Huskies got the ball to start, and they had a fantastic drive, quieting the OSU crowd with this touchdown. However, Oregon State answered right back as leading Pac-12 rusher Damian Martinez scored to tie the game up. After an OSU safety, they were once again backed up near their own end zone. DJ throws the ball to Anthony Gould, but he is stripped. Ball's on the ground, Huskies ball. The Huskies went on to miss a field goal, but when the Huskies get the ball back, they came out firing. After a pass interference call, Michael Penix Jr. takes this one himself, slipping into the end zone and putting the Huskies up 16-7. The Beavers looking to answer, but this one is broken up. Watch out, cameraman. Beavs kick a field goal, inching closer and closer. But Michael Penix Jr. is hard to stop. He throws a touchdown with less than a minute in the half to put the Huskies up 22-10, to 10, heading into the locker room. The Beavers come back out and continue to give the rock to Damian Martinez, who puts them within five. However, this field goal is the only points the Beavers scored the rest of the game, falling just short. The Beavers couldn't get it done on this rainy night tonight, as an early safety led to yet another loss within three points. The final score here in Corvallis, Huskies 22, Beavers 20. From Research Stadium, Dylan Anderman, News Channel 21.